And we're live. Hello, everyone. This is Thomas Pop from Video Mantis here with another Vault Talk exclusive. Brian Cahill, a good friend of mine, is operating the camera today, and he told me about a Shoulder X demonstration. So we were able to get Mark Criscolo from morning. the uh, manufacturer to bring it in. How are you doing, sir? Doing well, thank you. Excellent. So why don't you tell me a little bit more about this product and a little bit more about your company? Sure. So the uh, company's name is Suit X. We're based in Emeryville, California. This is our Shoulder X device. It is a, it is a lift assist device for your, for your overhead work, arms, and um, weighs about 10 and a half pounds, fully, fully on. Uh, is one size fits <coughs> all, and you make adjustments to fit the certain body shape. If you can measure for upper body width, lower body width, depth, and spine length, you can put this device on pretty much anybody. Wow. And we're gonna try demoing it with you today, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, obviously this is probably something new for you, obviously venturing into the booming world. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, the, the thing to let you know a little bit more about us, and we can even start putting it on while sure. you do this, Absolutely. is, you know, we hold these huge boom poles above our heads for incredible amounts of times like I, I tell people on my very first job that I ever did I was working up in Oregon on a, a movie and we had basically a take it was about maybe a 10 minute long take yep. and the idea was that the director he just loved to say okay hey you know what let's go back to one and let's do it again because I really like the emotion I want to keep it going right. you know and the problem with that is you know, everybody else gets to put their hands down or they have the tripod, you know, with the camera on it or they have a dolly or whatever they're doing. But we have a stick that's 18 feet long that we can't just close down at any minute. So sometimes we just have to wait and then go back to one. So that specific job, I had to have my arms above my head with an 18 foot pole with an 18, uh, an 816 microphone, which is about that long for over 27 minutes. <laughs> And I literally just, I had to say, stop, I, I can't do it anymore, I need to take a break. And they finally understood how hard it was when I said, well, you try it, you know. So, I mean, it's kind of a rough way to start your first job, but it is what it is. Maybe having something like this would definitely help. So th this device is, is designed basically to reduce fatigue mm -hmm. and reduce fatigue-related injuries. That's, awesome. that's what it's for. So it will help you to prolong that lifting position over your head. I'm very excited to try so this. So this is not the exoskeleton, this is just a basically a, a positioning harness or, okay. a, or a basically a, a brace that's going to be used to uh, put on the actual exo arms. Okay. You can grab that belt for yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. Okay, you can click this yeah, in. Click you that you in got it. Give, give it a good, you good got, oh, you tug know, for me. Let me uh, get it the right way here. So far, this feels like a K-Tech Stingray harness, I'll be honest. There you go. Feels kind of nice. I don't know what that is, but it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we use to wear those bags. on the. We have the bags that go on the front of our belly. So, so we have this harness that goes around. So, so the adjustments you can make on here for it, this is for, uh, for lower body width, upper body width. We'll adjust the shoulders for you to get them onto your shoulders. Okay. There's also a waist belt here. With, with numbers on it. So but, and actually there's a guide for what size waist you are. You can put it on that number. I just know because I've been doing it for so long Yeah, now. for sure. It feels very comfortable around my waist. Like I, I tucked it in pretty tight with these uh, straps and it's not pinching anywhere. The it whole idea is you want to wear all, wear all the weight on your hips. Mm -hmm. And you do not, do not want this to be on, actually on your shoulders. Okay, great. So when you, when you have weight on your shoulders, the frame's gonna push down, yep. down the spine into your hips. Yeah, I definitely so feel it here on your shoulders. for sure. All right. Great. I'm gonna hold, grab you these straps like this for you. Okay. Put that on the front. Okay, that goes in the front. Okay, that's locking my arms, Correct. the straps into the arms. And one over there. All right. And do I tighten these down as well? Yeah, you can give them a little, not too tight, just go, if you, and they're kind Oop. of pulled all the way in, but yes, you can pull them out a little bit. Okay. If I can get it. There you go. There we go. Okay. How's that feel? As as Feels very right good, yeah. So you also can make adjustments on here. If, if you had a little wider chest, you actually <laughs> can slide these out as well to give it a little more to get it kind of off of your chest there. I feel like an extra in a Terminator movie or something. <laughs> so these are fully mechanical devices. There's no power to them. Wow. Um, they're using coil springs, which are, you'll see in a moment in the arms. Okay. So that's it as far as putting it on. Once you, once you have it sized correctly, everything's numbered. You actually can write those numbers down and know how quickly to get back into that device awesome. on, on your own afterwards. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, very comfortable right now. I don't feel like I have any uh, Restriction, maybe, maybe a little bit turning here, but not, not too bad. This is actually the exoskeleton, so there's one exo for each for each arm. Um, they they can be adjusted between three pounds and twelve pounds of lift assist. There's a knob on each one that allows you to adjust for lift assist right here. So one full turn of the of the knob is one pound added to the plus side of it. Wow, this is getting crazy, guys. There you go. 
So to put this on, you're going to slide this into the frame. And then that goes now like you, that. Now you can also adjust this here. So you, what you're trying to do is get it between your tricep and the end of your elbow. Okay. Okay, so you can slide this out a little bit soon, like so. Very good. That's one arm. Wow. Very interesting. Once you get those on, I feel like this fluidity in the movement is just kind of fun. Hey, Max, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. As you can tell, we're getting this uh, shoulder X demonstration going here. Okay, so the device is on you right now. The only place you have, you should have full range of motion. Only restriction you have is you go back about 185 degrees. And yep, you get, you get and then the it frame. stops. Okay, right. yeah, like basically right there, that's as far as I can go back, but right. we're not doing that movement. Right. You know. So about 10 and a half pounds totally on you, and you should not really feel the weight. It kind of should be carrying on your hips. Okay. For the most part. There you go. I feel like I'm going to fly away. <laughs> it, it feels really neat. It's very interesting. <laughs> so you, know? you also want it, so when you do lift your arms, you're trying to find a way so it shouldn't be sliding up and down your arm. It should be sitting right there at that spot. So you can make an adjustment. If you see it sliding, you can make an adjustment to extend that out. Gotcha. Or pull those in. Okay. All right. Very so good. is what's this set for right now, uh, tension-wise? So right now, I believe I ha think I have them down all the way down to three, but let me just double check. You put your armor for one second for me. Yeah, they're all the way down to three pounds right now. So do you want me to adjust them up to? Well, we'll, we'll see once uh, Thomas. Uh, picks so the, up the, the average arm weight, weight is about three pounds. So that's where we start at three pounds. Okay. Now I, I got a feeling yours will probably be a little more than three pounds. So we, you're trying to find equilibrium for your arms to start out with. Right, okay. And then you adjust up for, what, for whatever you're going to be holding overhead. Very good. So, right, Thomas, okay. are you noticing any, any assist right now when you lift your hands up over your head? I just, you know what, it feels very easy to lift my arms if up I, and I down. It. Yeah, it's oh, okay. just, no, I, I don't feel any resistance, though. I guess that that would be the first thing that I would say. Yes, right now it's totally off. So to, yep. so to engage the device on each arm, you have a red, le a red lever here. Mm -hmm. You're going to push that down on both sides. And then you're going to lift your arm up just a quill spring one time. You're going to hear a click. And that should be engaged on that side. Oh, whoa. And it, and it should be also engaged there. Wow. Okay, wow. So, it, you know what it reminds me of? Flat off the back, I feel like I'm working out and I'm pulling on one of those machines, you know, that has the resistance error. You know what I mean? Kind of. The Absolutely. same type of theory. You so, know. so, however many pounds you put into this thing for resistance, you have to be able to pull back down through that. So, when you do come back down, when you put your arms back to your side, it'll be disengaged right now, so you have you can move your arms around comfortably. Oh yeah, okay. But you have to get through that resistance to get back to that right. neutral position. Right. Okay. Again. Gotcha. Yeah. Interesting. Well, what do you think, guys? Should we pick up a boom pole, or what, what should we do, or do we need to make any more adjustments? I think we probably want to go a little higher with the with the with the uh, lift assist. Okay, let's do, do it. That. Yeah, let's go so for you it. Go ahead and lift your arm over here for okay. me. Okay. It's easier to turn a knob if I do that. For sure. I brought something with us that's both more like an interior rig with a MKH50 on it. Um, okay. Quarter pole, and I brought the uh, the Zeppelin with the 416. Something in it heavy. All right. 18 foot K10. So we're gonna start right. with nine pounds and see how that does for us. Very good. And how many pounds can it go up to? Up to uh, 12 pounds. Wow. Okay. In each arm. Very good. Let me take a look at how you're doing that. Yep. So you can, you can dial it anyway. It's, with your arms up, it's actually easier to turn. And you can do this yourself once you kind of get familiarized with the. You can put the arms on and do this yourself once you get familiarized with putting on the, the device and using it. It's more relaxing now. Okay. I can just like so let right now, my yeah, arms right now, just you should be able to hold your arms up there yep. without having any. Yeah. If you put them out in front of you like this, your arms should be able to. Oh wow! Much hang, oh, this is relaxing. Hang there, right? Yeah, I could take a nap like this. So we'll start at that. That's at nine pounds. We'll try that and see how that feels. We can always adjust up higher. Let's do it. Because you guys are holding that position for a long time, you probably could go all the way to twelve and just let it be at twelve. Yeah, I, that might part. be what it is. Just as much resistance as they can take off of it. But yeah, let's try it yeah. here. So uh, just go ahead and pick up a pole, huh? All right. So you know what? Should we just go right for the for the four sixteen? What do you think? Uh, Brother? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Let's do it. I've All got right. a carabiner with me if you want to hang that extra cable off of it. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Oh, you got a bongo tie on here? Let me uh, get that off. So how much thicker, Brian, does this look on my back? Because obviously, you know, sometimes we're working in tight corners and stuff. You know, am I going to be like, oh, excuse me, like having to get out of everybody's way a lot? What do you think? Well, you've got more profile in the shoulders, but not a lot more in the back. Nope. Inches in the oh really? Oh okay. See, I would just the assume the profile you have is here, obviously above your shoulders. Gotcha. That my octopus out. arms. Okay. Right. Cool. Very good. Yeah. So that's not going to be a problem for people then, you know, the being able to. Has devices on the back that 
it got about eight inches. Eight. Okay. Very good. <coughs> All right. So let's get the uh, cable out here. It's definitely a little interesting in, in the beginning because like it's like, whoa, <laughs> everything just wants to yeah. shoot up on me. That's because I have it up as high as we do, but I think exactly. you're going to benefit more by it being that high when you get it over your head. Oh. Okay. So what, what I'm feeling is if I didn't have this uh, shoulder exon, I would have a lot of tension. My bicep would be activating because I'm holding the pole up strong. Um, I'm not feeling any of that. I literally just feel like my arms are just kind so what's of what's happening in with the, the weight is it's coming, it's coming down your arm yeah. to, the, to, the, to the arm device and right. down your spine. And basically your, your hips are now doing the lifting of that device. Oh, it's great. Yeah, that makes it just easier just to kind of hold it in place. I'm not having to use as much of my energy. And even when I just go all the way out like that and click that, to be honest, that's probably the most comfortable position for me. And you look pretty cool doing it, by the way, too. Well, thank you. Hey, <laughs> come on now. Nobody's going to mess with you if you have this, right? Exactly. Like the Jets and the Sharks. We got steady cam ops. Now we look like them, right? So in terms of... You know, cueing, I, I still seem to have a lot of movement. It, it is a little bit of a slower move. Like, I, I don't feel like I can, whoops, needs to be tightened a little bit more. Um, I don't feel like I can quick pan the pole as fast. So, I mean, that, that, that is one thing. That, um, you know, our abilities, man, this is uh, not tightening up, so you, sorry. Yeah, so with, with every um, place I've taken these for, with the applications, you have to basically relearn how to do your job again, because now you're using a device you didn't use before. Yeah. So it's, it's going to take a little practice to get exactly. that movement down. Yep, that makes sense, you know. Things take time, you have to learn, you got to practice. It's just a different, different mouse trap. Man, if you were doing, you know, just having to walk around with a wireless boom for a long time, working on a show or maybe sports, having something like this would make it a lot easier. Yeah, just there's just no weight on my shoulders right now. It seems to be a lot easier to do this, you know? I noticed last week with the ExoVest as well that um, you got a lot of assistance on it, but you, you, it almost felt like you were using different muscles and that there was, uh, there was gonna be a learning curve as to the technique that you were using in order to uh, uh, use it to its fullest. Right, right, very cool. Yeah, even having to put the pole all the way out, I'm able to, you know, I mean, if I let go, it is going to come down. It's not just going to lock, right? It won't just lock. The arms never, will never lock on exactly, you. Exactly, because right. that's probably you a little bit more yeah. dangerous in a way. Absolutely. Yeah, people are going to try to use it for more than what it's supposed so to. I, I could, just to give you a feel for what it feels like, I can dial it up all the way to give you the full, the full Yeah, the full let's do it. Just to see if that does anything different for you. Let's do it. Cool. So that was at a 9. We're going to go to a 12. I'll be honest, guys, I was a little bit, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I don't know, but I, I was kind of, yeah, skeptical would be the word. I, I was like, I don't, I don't know about this, but I'm, I'm actually pleasantly suple uh, surprised with, with how it's working. So that, wow, that's, 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 that's a that's lot. That's maxed out. Wow. So that okay. would give you full. Okay, so this, this is how they're going to use it, right. for sure. Just get all that extra weight off. Yeah, I feel like I could hold this right like that for hours, Brian, without any problem. It's, it's literally just the resistance is so much that it's not going down by itself. Now, granted, if I have a longer pull, it's probably going to start resisting then. Let's see. All right, so this is... No, right there. It's locking up pretty good. Very cool. Having a pull that long and having that much resistance taken off of it, I'm impressed. That's awesome. I'm very impressed. Very cool. It's really a great application for this, for this little device. Absolutely. Roger, how are you doing, sir? Hey, buddy. We're live on Video Mantis. You want to try this? I don't, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, boy. Here we go. Very good. Well, guys, if you have any questions, please let us know. We're going to be here for a little while longer talking about the Shoulder X demo. Mark, thank you so much for my, showing my it pleasure. to us. Woo, as my arm shoots up for you. How are you doing? <laughs> doing great. Take care. Guys, this is definitely something that you want to try out. So if you're in the area, please let us know. We'll be here till around 12 o'clock. And if not, 
you know where to find it. Sudex, is it sudex.com? Sudex.com. There you go, guys. This is another Video Mantis Vault Talk. We'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>